a guy is throwing cocaine out of the plane. And then, when he was about to jump, the dumbass hits himself. Based on real events, the movie tells us that black bears are not territorial. They will rarely attack humans near them. In 1985, in the Chattahoochee National Forest, we see a couple having a good time in the woods. The couple climbs to the top of the mountain and encounters a bear. They get excited to see the bear, but the bear starts acting weird. Although the girl is not afraid of it, the bear approaches them and they start running. The guy falls and the bear attacks the girl and cuts off her leg. And so it begins. Welcome to Random Recaps. In this video, I am going to recap the movie. In the news, we see that the guy who threw the drugs from the plane died when he jumped out of the plane, and his body was found in Knoxville, Tennessee. We meet Detective Bob, who says the name of the guy who jumped is Andrew C. Thornton too. He concludes that this is one of Sid White's men, a drug dealer from Missouri. After that, in Missouri, Sid sends some of his other men for the cocaine. Then, in Chattahoochee, we meet Dee Dee, who lives with her mother, Nurse Sari, who will work extra night shifts. Later, in a bar in St. Louis, we see David, who is looking for Sid's son, Eddie, to find the cocaine, but he's depressed. Back in Chattahoochee, Dee Dee skips school with her best friend Henry to paint a picture of the waterfalls in the woods. Then we see Bob dropping off his puppy with his police partner to go to Chattahoochee, Georgia because he heard that Sid's men would be there. Dee Dee's mother arrives home and, when she's about to relax, the phone rings. Sari realizes that Dee Dee didn't go to school and, checking, realizes where she went. Then we see a kid trying to rob the park ranger, and we meet park ranger Liz and forest inspector Peter. Sari goes to look for the kids. Meanwhile, Henry is marking the tree so they don't get lost. Dee Dee finds a bag of cocaine. Henry says he's not used to seeing cocaine like that, and Dee Dee asks him when he has seen cocaine before. Wanna do it? What? Dee Dee tells him to try it. Henry pretends to be dumb. Dee Dee opens the package and tries it. <laughs> and Henry does the same. <laughs> the kids find another package and realize someone has eaten it. Then the bear appears. The kids get scared and run away. Then we see David and Eddie. And Eddie, sad and depressed over his wife's death, while they listen to sad music. Okay. Sari arrives with the rangers and asks them for help to find the kids. They agree to help her and go with her. Then the drug dealers arrive. Liz tells Sari about the Duchamps, three delinquents who cause trouble in the woods. While David is washing his hands, he meets the delinquents who want to rob him. So David starts fighting with them, and David beats all three of them, although they manage to stab him. Eddie arrives and gets angry at David for beating up the kids and finds that one of them had drugs. They wake him up and ask him where they got the drugs from. The delinquent tells them where the missing drugs are, and David asks him to lead them there. And the delinquent shows them the way. Meanwhile, Bob is on his way. Sari and the rangers find Henry when he screams up in a tree. Henry? He warns them about the bear, but the rangers tell him that bears are peaceful. Sari asks him where Dee Dee is and Henry says, The monster took her. The bear attacks the rangers and takes Peter. Liz starts shooting but doesn't hit it. Are you shooting at me? Get your ass down. The bear appears behind Liz and attacks her. A shot goes off and almost hits Sari. Peter climbs up a tree, while Liz insults the bear. Motherfucker. Come back, help me. Henry says that bears don't climb trees, but Peter tells him they do. Then why are you up here? Bruh. The bear starts climbing the tree where Henry is and the kid starts climbing higher. Peter had cocaine all over his body and, when he shakes it off, the bear notices and goes for him. So it kills him. Henry comes down from the tree and he and Sari run away. Peter falls and the bear keeps eating him and snorts a line from his leg. What the hell? Henry tells Sari that the bear got high and that's why it's acting crazy. Then he tells her where they took Dee Dee. 
The ranger arrives to reload her gun and finds the delinquents. All the ambulance already did. All beat up. Liz says he's at the door. The delinquents think they're the drug dealers, but Liz is referring to the bear. When he opens the door, she shoots. The bear flees, and Liz apologizes for shooting the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where'd the bear go? The bear is walking on the roof above. Liz goes towards the chimney, but the bear appears through the door. Meanwhile, the drug dealers keep going to find the drugs. Bob arrives. He calmly drinks his drink. Meanwhile, Sari and Henry look for D.D. They find a rock covered in blood, but it's not blood, it's paint. How can you be sure? I'm a nurse, Henry. Good point. And a trail of paint left by D.D. so they could find her. An ambulance arrives at the ranger station. The medics get out, but they can't open the door because the body. They manage to get in and find the ranger on the floor. Doctors find the other headless body, and the bear too. He closes the door, all freaked out. The bear knocks down the door. The medic helps Liz. The medic manages to escape and they leave. The bear chases them. Liz shoots at it. The bear catches up to them. Liz goes flying and the medic has his hand messed up. And then he gets eaten. They crash and the medic goes flying. Bob arrives at the kiosk before the drug dealers and finds the drugs. When the dealers arrive, the drugs are gone. It's gone. What the actual... The game. Bob is on the roof and points his gun at David. Bob tries to get down but doesn't know how. David tries to grab the gun and Bob shoots him. How do you take those two fingers off? He grabs the gun and hides. Eddie looks for David's fingers. Meanwhile, we see D.D. who is alone in a cave. The bear appears at the kiosk. David tries to hide. The bear smells Eddie and lies down on him. Meanwhile, we see the guy from the beginning who the bear killed his girlfriend. Sari asks him if he's seen D.D. and the guy leads them to her. David makes a truce with Bob to deal with the bear. He checks if the bear is dead. The drugs fall out of his pocket and the bear wakes up. Eddie says the bear is a female. The bear is a girl. The mother bear wakes up and eats the drugs. What the hell? And Bob says, Let's see what kind of effect that has on me. The mother bear grabs Eddie. Bob shows the mother bear the drugs and scatters them. Bob manages to make the mother bear leave. David asks Bob for the suitcase and Sid shoots Bob. I didn't. Bob drops the drugs. Eddie and David find Sid and tell him the mother bear ate the cocaine. The drug dealers go for the remaining drugs, but Bob tells them he gave them to the bear. Gave it to the bear. Bob's partner arrives, but she was with the drug dealers. Bob tells them where the mother bear went and the dealers go after her. Meanwhile, Sari and Henry enter the cave where Dee Dee is and find two bear cubs and Dee Dee too. They look for an exit. The drug dealers find the guy from before dead, but Sid doesn't care and wants to keep looking for the bear. They find the drugs, but Sid wants to look for the rest that is scattered. The cop wants to leave, but Sid points his gun at him. David defends her. The dealers reach the waterfall and find Sari and the kids. He sends D.D. to look for the drugs. Sari wants to leave, but Sid won't let them go. The bear cubs go after Sid because they want the drugs. Sid wants D.D. to shoot them, but Eddie doesn't want to. Sid throws the gun to David to shoot them, but Sari grabs it like a total badass. And Henry insults the drug dealer. Because you're a piece of crap person! Then the mother bear arrives to protect her cubs. Sari jumps with the kids. David and Eddie do too. Sid shoots the mother bear and she falls. He goes for the drugs. Package of drugs falls and breaks. And the mother bear wasn't dead. So she inhales it. The mother bear goes up and kills Sid. And the cubs eat his guts. David is shot and wounded as Sid grazed him with the bullet. Sari helps him. The next morning, we see everyone returning. The cop gives Bob's puppy to Eddie. Is it on cocaine? No. Sorry, and the kids pass by where the ambulance accident happened, and the police arrive there. The authorities never recovered the bags of cocaine, and it's possible that, to this day, they're still in the woods. And we see some people filming the bears. Then we see the delinquent who survived taking a bag of drugs, and Henry going with his son, and the puppy ate David's fingers. They weren't gonna put him back on. 
and that's how the movie ends.